Not only are we in the midst of a great Kiwi man drought, you've probably heard there's also an education gap between the available men and their more qualified female counterparts. So do Kiwi women simply need to lower their standards? Dating expert Sasha Mataraz joins us now. Sasha, good morning to you. Good morning. Um, is it a matter of, because these, these figures, they don't lie, there are fewer men than women, 25, uh, 49, and there are way fewer educated men than women 30 to 34. So do women need to lower their standards? No. I, th <laughs> I think the um, term lower their standards is incorrect. I right. don't think women need to lower their standards at all. I think they need to keep their options open. I think women are discounting men for um, not good enough reasons. And they, yep, yeah, in, in times like so these, they need to keep almost, their options open. Is it that they're almost looking for a reason not to want to go out with a man and they think, oh, he's not educated enough? Dating is hard work. And I liken it to, you know, if you want to lose weight, you can't just join a gym, you've got to go. And it's mm. the same with dating. If you want to meet someone, you've actually got to put in the effort. So one of our rules at the agency, uh, very hard to enforce it, but we encourage people to have at least two dates with each person we introduce them to. And this is so that they can get to know the person. Um, I so find do you get frustrated with, with women who... You know, who you think, God, I know that guy is great. I know you guys will be perfect together. And they just write them off too quickly. Write them off on, a pro, on, on words on paper without even meeting them. I have all sorts of very strange questions. What colour are the eyes? What's that got to do? Mm, <laughs> I have mm. no idea what that has to do with whether, um, how you're going to interact with someone. So really, you might be dealing with a desperate woman, because these are desperate times for some women. You might be dealing with a desperate woman and she says, what colour are their eyes? I, again, I'm not just saying this, but I don't think women are desperate. I think we have very busy lives and we tend to put other things in front of um, the, you know, finding mm. a partner. And so we make excuses for ourselves. Oh, I'm so busy. I've got a great life. Um, do I really need this? Um, so I don't think they I definitely don't okay, think Okay, so I quite well. like what you're saying. You're saying just, you know, just... Keep don't, your options open. Keep your options open. Can I just say, you know, we talked about that educa education gap. In New Zealand, we have a lot of highly educated women, I agree, but we also have a lot of number eight wire guys. So we've got a lot of trades. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, uh, they earn a lot of money. <laughs> so mm, mm. it's not about um, income. But again, just keep your options open. Don't say no to someone just based on their occupation. To me, it's about how is this person, how does this person um, get on with their family and their friends? How do they form their thoughts and opinions? Not yeah. about what they do for a living. What kind of person is this person? Exactly. Yeah. Um, and very quickly, are more and more women seeking um, you know, dating sites, more and more women going to the internet, seeking organisations like yours to find partners? And men. And men. Yep. Mm. Women and men. As I say, desperate times. Um, all right, Sasha, thank you very much for joining us. We'll talk thank again. You. Uh,